guys, this is how to play Twist and Shout by the Beatles, a fantastic song just with three chords, part of my Play 10 Songs with Three Chords series where we're doing chords or songs just with the chords D, G and A major. Um, pretty much the same riff throughout the whole song and a classic one by the Beatles. Let's get straight in for a close-up on this classic. D, D, G, G, A And that's the riff for the whole song, pretty much. So this uh, tutorial is appropriate for level three of my beginner's course available at andyguitar.co.uk. And it's really about the chord changes between D, G, by keeping that third finger down, and the A major chord, and that's every song at this level involves those chords, maybe a couple of others, but not too many others. And if there's anything that you struggle with in this tutorial, my beginner's course book and DVD package includes loads of bonus content that you may find really handy. Um, this lesson is really all about the changes between D and G, so all of those are included here, with loads more tips than are included on the website. And we also have strumming patterns and practice routines, uh, little song exercises here, and there's the practice routine written out, 30 minute practice routine, how to play guitar stood up, how to play along to a metronome, all that sort of thing. I think you guys will find this really handy if there's anything you struggle with in this song. But that's enough of trying to flog a, a book that I've created. Let's um, get straight on with how to uh, play this song. So the twist and shout riff strums a normal D chord twice and we don't need a capo or anything just strum it with two down strums from string four remember and then we have gg so it's a fairly quick change one two three four and we're going to do everything on a down strum with this song one two three four Remember, we're playing a four fingers or all finger G, an oasis G, I sometimes call it, because it's used in Wonderwall. And we keep that third finger down from the D to the G to make the change substantially easier. That's what's really covered in my book and DVD package. Then we change to the A major chord, and I've been using this way of playing an A rather than this one, at this level, but either way is totally fine. We're only going to change to the D chord, so it's not too bad with either, either one that you choose. When we get to the A, we strum it one, and two, and three, and four, and. So listen to that again really carefully. One, and two, and three, and four, and. In context, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four. Now that's not the exact count to the beat, but if you say that in that same rhythm, you'll be able to do it. it will, it's the rhythm that's important with this one, because it's a little bit of a riff, a guitar riff. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and. And it's only when we get those ands in that you're suddenly strumming an awful lot at once. Really slow one more time, and then we're going to have a go together. Three. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and. Let's play that again, together with me now, in two, three, four. Again from the D, two, three, four. Now the trick now is when we finish that A chord, we need to get straight back to the top to start off with that D chord again. Little bit trickier, but it is very doable if you've been able to do this so far. If there's anything you struggle with, it's that little book for, that you need to get from the website. From the D chord. Three, four. D chord D now. There. That's how we do the loop. Let's do it really slow in two, three, four. If 
we were singing along to this, the shake it up is before the first beat of shake it up, baby now. That's where the D is. So for example, so shake it up, baby now, shake it up, baby. So it's a little bit awkward with the lyrics, it's a little bit behind, baby. Shake it up, baby now, shake it up, baby. So shake it is the G chord, baby, on the A chord. Shake it up, baby now, shake it up, baby. And I'm filling in with those uh, eight strums on the D, on the A chord, sorry. One more demo, shake it up, baby now, shake it up, baby. Twist and shout, twist and shout, come on, come on, baby now, come on, baby. Work it on out, work it on out. Let's do it together, try not to let the vocal put you off, just remember the exact job that we've trained you with already. Let's have a go from the D chord in two, three, four. Shake it up, baby, now Shake it up, baby Twist and shout Twist and shout Come on, come on, baby, now Come on, baby Working on a how Working on how Well, it's just so good It's so good You know you got That is the whole song after the little break. We stay on the A chord for six bars with power eight all down strumming. And do what you were doing before. Let's go from that A chord, six bars of the A, straight into the riff, guys. Let's go for this one in two, three, four. A. how to play Twist and Shout by the Beatles. Thanks for checking out this lesson. Please click the links on the screen now to either subscribe or check out any more of my free lessons. I'll see you again, guys. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.